Okay, so we're going to try to find the length of a line. Now, you start off with plotting the two points. So most of you have that already. 4, 8 is right here. And 8, 5 is right over here. Now, here's the thing. This is a slanted line. It's slanted, right? If the line was straight up and down, just like this, you could count it. You could count the length, right? You could literally say one, two, three, four. Or if it was straight left and right like that, you could count it one, two, three. But how are you going to count the length of the line if it's slanted like that? Yeah. Ah, yeah, that's 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 part of it. So I'm going to draw what it is he's saying. Just make sure you're paying attention. Because this is the lesson. This is the main. This is the heart of the lesson. So, to get to get the length of the line, we're really going to use the Pythagorean theorem. Pythagorean theorem. Does anybody know what the Pythagorean theorem is? No. Okay. So, um, Pythagorean is basically the name of the people that kind of came up with this method this happened a long long time ago they're greek i don't know the full history to be exact but very famous theorem i'm going to start it off and you'll know it trust me so the pythagorean theorem says a square plus b square does this look familiar well f finish it for me equals c squared but let me explain what the parts of this mean so a so first of all you need to have a right triangle and a and b are legs i'll explain what the legs are in a second and c is the hypotenuse hypotenuse so in a right triangle um, the legs are the two sides that make the right angle. So if you look at your picture, now I notice that a lot of people make mistakes with this. So just listen and follow identically to what it is I'm doing. You want to make a right triangle, but you must use the lines of the graph paper. It's what will guarantee the right angle. So if you start at one point and you go straight up until you're like at the same level as the other point, and then you start at the other point and you go straight across, right? It needs to follow the lines of the graph paper so that you could count them. Then we have a nice right angle, right? And now we have a right triangle and we can literally count the legs of the triangle. The legs are the two pieces that I just drew. So how long, how long is the short leg? Three. So you could just write a three right there. And how long is the long leg? Four. And C is the hypotenuse. That's what we're trying to find. We don't know what that is. Is this okay so far? Then we literally just take those numbers, substitute it into the formula. So I'm just going to rewrite the formula. A squared plus B squared equal, equals C squared. Doesn't matter. They're both legs. <laughs> That's right. 4 to the second power plus 3 to the second power equals C to the second power. We're still trying to find out what C is. 4 square is 16. 3 square and C square, we leave it just like that. Um, we could add 16 and 9. What's 16 plus 9? 25. Well, 25 is not C. 25 is C squared. And it makes sense, right? There's no way C could be 25. Look at it. It's not, it's not long enough. You have to take, exactly. To get rid of that little square, you square root both sides. So C is equal to, what's the square root of 25? It's actually plus or minus 5, but we can't have a negative length. Well, you, you can't have a negative length. So that's 5. And so now we know C is 5. Now, I should just mention that this right triangle 
is a very special right triangle because all the numbers are whole numbers. Most of the time when you're doing this, C will be like a, a radical. Um, so this triangle in math, we call it the three, four, five right triangle. And um, it's known as a Pythagorean triple, three, four, five. It's three nice numbers. You'll use this triangle a lot in algebra two. Yeah. Yes. Wait, what step? Yeah, this everything I wrote here you should have in your notebook. Oh, were you just following along? Um, if you were just following along, I'll give you some time right now. Just write, just write it down. That's fine. I'm going to actually stop this video now.